Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at histogram of unequal class intervals. So we start with our problem. The table below shows the ages of people at a naming ceremony. Draw the histogram of the distribution. So we have the table here with the ages given as class intervals and the number of people as frequency. How do we identify whether a distribution is of equal intervals or on equal intervals? First, we have to identify whether the table has equal class intervals or on equal class intervals. So to identify whether it is equal interval or on equal interval, this is 15 and 10, difference of 5, 20 and 15, difference of 5, 35 and 20, difference of 15, 45 and 35, difference of 10. Immediately you identify that a particular class interval does not have the same class width with a particular one. You know it is an unequal class interval. To draw the histogram of distribution with on equal class interval we are going to draw the age against the frequency density so we are going to create a new column and name it frequency density to calculate frequency density it is the frequency divided by the width so frequency divided by the width for instance if we start with the first class interval the width is going to be 15 minus 10. 15 minus 10 gives 5. And here we have our frequency to be 3. So that the frequency density is going to be 3 divided by 5. 3 divided by 5 gives 0 0.6. So that the frequency density of the first class interval is 0. 6. Please, for your information, the class intervals given here are connected. If you look at this 10 to 15, 15 inclusive, so here 15 to 20, 20 to 35, and they are connected. So that is why to get the class width, we go straight from 15 minus 10 and uh, for the second class interval we are going to also find the class width which is 20 minus 15 20 minus 15 is 5 so that the frequency density for that class interval is going to be the frequency which is 5 divided by the class width also 5 5 divided by 5 gives 1 and the frequency density for the class interval is 1. So we are done with that class interval. We go to the next one. For the next class interval, the upper limit is 35 minus the lower limit, which is 20. 35 minus 20 gives 15. And to calculate the frequency density, the frequency, which is 30, divide by the class width and our class width there is 15 so 30 divided by 15 gives 2 therefore the frequency density for the third class interval is 2 we then go to the next class interval so for the next class interval we also calculate the width which is 45, the upper class interval minus the lower class interval, giving 45 minus 35, and that gives 10. So to calculate the frequency density, we're going to have the frequency, which is 25, divided by 10, and that gives 2.5. So we have the 2.5 here. Then we are done with that. We go to the next class interval which is 45 to 60. So the width there is going to be 60 minus 45, 
that gives 15 then we go ahead to calculate the frequency density which is frequency 15 divided by the class width divided by 15 and that gives 1 so we have the frequency density there to be 1 we are done then we go to the last class interval for the last class interval it is 60 to 65 so the width will be 65 minus 60 and that gives 5 the frequency density is going to be 2 divided by 5 2 divided by 5 gives 0 0.4 and uh, we have done justice so the next thing is to draw the graph so we have our graph for the histogram we draw the horizontal axis draw the vertical axis we do the calibration on the horizontal axis we have the edges i'm going to take two centimeters to 10 units so starting from the first class interval here that is the we put the lower class interval first and um, this is 1 2 we have 20 1 2 we have 30 1 2 40 50 60 and 70 though we are stopping at 65 there is need to always have extra so this is the age in x years so for the vertical axis this is the frequency density so the highest density we have there is 2.5 so we can now look at one two three so two centimeters to one unit so this axis is going to be zero so we now have the next one one two we have a one one two two one two we have three so we'll be able to accommodate 2.5 and that is the frequency density the axis for the frequency density so we then go ahead to draw the histogram that is the bars so for your information the width of the bars is going to be the width of the class intervals while the height of the bars will be the frequency densities of the respective class interval so we start from the first class interval let's identify the height which is the frequency density of 0 0.6 this is 0 0.5 0 0.6 is here you place your ruler and draw your line so we stop here since the width is 5 because this is 15 here 20 so we are done identifying the height of the bar we then join it to the horizontal axis so we place our ruler again and draw we have the first bar for 10 to 15 then for 15 to 20 the width is also 5 so what we do is identify the height of the bar which is 1 so this is the height of the bar place your ruler then you draw remember the width is 5 so it's ending at 20 then we now join this down down to get the bar so placing our ruler again we join then we also place our ruler here and join so we are done with the second bar representing the second class interval we go to the third one the third class interval has a width of 15 so it is going to spread up from 20 to 35 and 35 is here and the height is 2 so the height is 2 this is the height here we place our ruler and draw the line so having drawn the line we then make the bar by bringing down these lines so our ruler again we join place the ruler again and join 
so you can see it is from 20 to 35 20 to 35 height 2 so it is the frequency density we then go for the next interval that's going to be 35 to 45 35 to 45 is here so the height is 2.5 so this is 2.5 here we place our ruler and draw the line remember it is from 35 to 45 so we then complete the bar so placing our ruler here join this then here to the other side we join to get the bar for 35 to 45 then the next one is 45 to 60 45 to 60 has a width of 15 also so it's going to be from 45 here to 60 with the height which is the frequency density to be one so one is here we place our ruler again and draw from 45 to 60 then we join the height to the horizontal axis so we are done with that we then go to the last class interval with a width of 5 and height 0 0.4 so identifying the height first from 60 to 65 this is here so we place our ruler on 4 this is 1 2 3 4 since this is 5 so we place our ruler on 0 0.4 we draw the line and then join downward to make the bar so this is how to draw histogram of unequal class intervals i hope you enjoyed this video Please like and share this video. Also, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on statistics. Until we come your way again, goodbye.